You've got an incoming call and an incoming bullet. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider G O D X. Fice Phone 10, or Fice Phone X, whatever you want to call it. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have the phone. There we have gates in the Fice armor, which looks quite cool in my opinion. On this side of the box, we have the phone. On this side of the box, we have a Fice AD 2003. On the top here, we have the phone. We got the Fice armor, more things and stuff, stuff and things, things and stuff. Warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And on the bottom, we have some more things and stuff that I cannot read, but we have Sir Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. Then moving right along, here we have the Fi's phone. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see the front of this toy done all in a very nice, nice silver paint. Lots of molded detail throughout. Of course, here we have the, uh, the, the, the screen, which is just a sticker. You can see right up top here, smart brain, and your bars, your battery levels, and of course, all of the various controls, the modes, and whatnot. And some more detail here on the side. We do have a little button up here. Some more stuff on the side. Stuff and things, things and stuff. You got the rails back here as well. The back is not painted at all, but that's okay. But you got that going on, and uh, obviously since the rails are on the back, it means you can use this with the driver, so without further ado, let's bring in the Jiku driver and our friend the rider can, because if the rider can, you can. Now, because of the way the Fi's phone works in the driver, it's best to just use it on its own because if you have a ride watch plugged into this side, then everything just overlaps and you can't really hear anything. So best to use it by itself. So here we go. You don't get any standby noise. And just give it a spin. It screams, ride the gadget. Let me see it right there on the screen, and that's pretty much it. There's no, you know, there's no final attack noise or anything. It just... Just screams right gadget at you. That's pretty much all it does in the driver. So now let's get into everything else that the Fi's phone does. So, when we push the button up top, just releases this section here, then you can pull this down, and there you have the rest of the phone. We'll go straight into phone mode. Just straighten it out, and you can see you get a little uh, confirmation noise there. So you got that going on. As you can see, the speaker is right there. The battery compartment is back here. The batteries are included, so you don't have to worry about that. And there is Sad Pac-Man! Just mold it on it forever. In shame. Uh, you have a trigger right here for the gun noises. But here it is in its full phone mode. And the only two buttons that actually work are the five and the enter button. So that's the only thing you can work with there. Um, when it's in phone mode, the, the trigger doesn't do anything that's disabled. But let's get into some noises. So when we push the enter button. It's the ringtone. Push enter again. So it's calling, push it again. You got the mail. And you got the mail. So you got that going on there. So now we will go into gun mode. So just bring it down a click. And now it's in gun mode. So now when we pull the trigger, single mode. it tells you it is in single mode. And when you pull the trigger again, you get a pew, 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 pew. Rapid fire that. So you got that going on. Push enter. Burst mode. It's now in burst mode. So pull the trigger. And now it fires three shots. And push it one more time, and you get your final attack. And 
and get your big final attack right there. So now, another thing we can do is if we push the five button three times, then push enter. You get ready, pointer on. Push it three times again. Enter. We get ready, shut on. Now pulling the trigger doesn't do anything else. When you pull the trigger, it just goes back to gun mode. It says single mode. So pulling the trigger doesn't do anything there. You can do that in a. You can do this in phone mode as well. And again, pulling the trigger doesn't do anything in phone mode, so. You got that going on right there. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for the Fies phone there. Actually, one more thing to mention is um, if you don't push the button three times, you just push it once and push enter. Error. It tells you error. If you push it twice, error. it tells you error. So you have to push it three times to get the results you want. So there you go. So now I believe we're done. So there you have the Fize phone. Um, it's pretty cool. I do like the homage to the Fize gear. I dig the overall design of it. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan, but of course there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common Rider items. They mostly just sell figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out, I'll put a link to their site in the description down below. You can also check out the Geo playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Kamen Rider G-O-D-X Fies Phone 10, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, pour me in your face.